yeah, guys, I'm back one more time. You know who I am. I'm your gracious host, Drummer, 1980 Hillen from Columbia, South Carolina. I hope you're having a good day today. And if that's not the case, ask yourself why. Because after all, happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair. Well, guys, we back there again. Something caught my attention on Twitter, guys. And I just want y'all to see this clip right quick. And we going to get back to the commentary right after this clip. Let's go, guys. Why did you have your balloon unpopped? Castro, 34. Mm-hmm. And why was your balloon unpopped? Uh... I mean, she's cool. She, I mean, I, I'm looking at her. She, she, she look nice, you know. Okay, it's fine. I don't really you. see too many too many things I can complain about her, you know. Okay. Make a reason to really pop it. I was just listening. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And why did we end up popping his? Too flashy. Um, I'm not a flashy person. Um, you know, if you make money, that's fine and all. I just wouldn't want other people to know. Right. You just never know other people's intention. And if you're flashy, you just never know what you're bringing on. Sure. That's all. Thank you, thank you. I mean, as a man, you know, um, my job is to uh, provide and protect, you know. So even though if a man is flashy, but uh, can he make sure we okay? You know what I mean? Yeah. Regardless whether he's flashy or not, whatever he has. So uh, we can't drive a flashy car, nice car, but because we, we got to wear about somebody trying to take something because they don't have it. But the thing is, can he protect you? Can yeah. he protect you when you in these streets when we's being flashy? Because regardless, you're going to spend money wherever you go. So we got to look at, we at the lowest of the totem pole because we scared what somebody else think. No, I think not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show out wherever I go. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, feel I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. That's all. You, feel you. you got that ass on them tears. Oh, oh thank my you. lord. Okay, so yeah, why I can't have my chains off? You got you. ass Yeah. I, I mean, you can you can have the chains out. I think for me, it's just I've had situations with guys that are very flashy and uh -huh. things would come about that no, I right, just don't want to be in a situation no. in. Yeah. So it's just if you're flashy, that's mm -hmm. fine for you. But I don't want that for me. I understand. Guys, what do y'all think? What is your first initial thought on the conversation that just took place? Now, you are here, obviously, because you want to hear my opinion. But with this situation in particular, guys, um, I think she do have a point. But he also have a point. Now, let's get into the nuances. She said that she don't want to be with somebody that's flashy because some things may come about that she don't want to be a part of, meaning that they might get robbed or get stuck up or, you know, what have you. My question would be, where are you frequenting? Are you going to certain places where those activities are more probable? Because anything's possible. If you go to L.A., you can get hit. In the daytime in Beverly Hills. So anything is possible. But I said probable. Because there's certain places that I just don't go. So chances are exponentially lower that I could potentially get robbed if I was flashy, depending on where you're at. Now listen at what I said. Listen, I say probable, but anything is possible. And the guy on the other hand has a point as well. Uh, his job is to be a protector and provider. Uh, and he should be able to wear his chains and be flashy if that's what he want to do. On the other hand, he made a vital point, guys. It's a very pertinent point. It's a crucial point. It's imperative. He said that you have your breasts and your rump out. That could invite unwanted attention as well. That could potentially lead into something else versus her being clothed. Oh, you see how that works? They both have a point. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I could be wrong because I'm human. But it sounds like she could be from the diaspora somewhere, maybe the Caribbean or somewhere in Africa. OK, so her mindset would be a little different and that's fine. It's nothing wrong with having a different mindset. But the guy also made a point. He said... So we have to live lowly and not have nice cars and stuff because she is afraid that somebody will try to take something from her. It depends on where you hanging out, where you're going. And like I said earlier, possibility, yes, but probability would be lower depending on where you frequent. I do appreciate their candor, both of them. Okay. Both of them had a point. Do anybody agree? Now, nah, with her breast being out, a lot of women going to be offended. Oh, she should be able to wear what she want to wear. Well, he should be able to wear what he want to wear too, right? Now, you can't be a hypocrite. Now, nah. huh? Did you hear me? I said, you can't be a hypocrite because he could get into a fight or potentially get on a live 
or delete it because some guy said something out of the way to his lady because of her goodies being out. You understand? Her rump falling out of her dress or her shorts or what have you. So what's good for the goose? It's good for the gander, right? And according to y'all, we equal, right? So some people don't mind their lady walk around with everything showing. I do. I have a major problem with it. I have. You, did you hear me? I said I have a major problem with it because I understand the mindset of women that walk around like that. Do you want to get into it? Why would you want to draw negative attention? Because apparently you want attention. So I won't say it's not invited because apparently it is because you wouldn't be showing them because you know what that's going to do. That's going to draw attention. And I'm not going to say unwanted attention because you probably want it. See, some women like that, guys. And y'all have to realize that. But you still want to get uh, close up to them and snuggle up on them anyway. And then complain about it on the back end. But the red flags were there the whole entire time. But you choose willingly to ignore that. Guys, I know you don't like it, but you chose willingly. Alacrity. Go look it up. Willingly to get involved with a woman like this. And then you're trying to make her put on her clothes. Okay. You seen that she wasn't wearing clothes when you first met her. How you meet them. That's how you meet them. Now, if she's willing to change... That's another conversation. But what if she don't want to change? What if she said you met me like this and you didn't have a problem with it? And now that we in a relationship, you want to try to tell me to cover up. She do have a point. She do have a point. My philosophy is, okay, I see what you are. So I know what category to put you in. That's when I was out there, but I'm married now, of course. Uh, I'm a Christian guy, of course. So whenever I was out there, I knew where to push. Okay, so she's naked. So I know what time it is with her. Jump off, late night creek. Maybe a fun party girl. Okay, that's fine. But whenever that you meet a woman that have self-respect, she know the cover up. Oh, God. They don't like what I just said. I'm going to say it two times for good measure. Whenever you meet a woman of respect, she know the cover up. It's something that I need her to tear her to cover. But it's something also that I need her to make her defiant. And she want to go against the grain. She want to live on the edge a little bit. She want the negative attention. Did you hear me? Because after all, any attention is good attention, right? Yeah. Okay. See, I'm equal on both sides, guys. I'm not biased. I don't have a slant to me. I just tell the truth, whether it's man or woman. And you're not going to find many channels like that. you go going to find most channels going to have a slant to. They could know you're dead wrong. And they still try to uphold falsehoods. You're not going to get that over here. You're going to get it just like how it is. Not what you hope for it to be. Or not what you advocate for. The truth goes stand alone, all right? So, family, tell me what you think in the comment section. I want to know your ideas. Put it in the comment. I'm telling you to put it in the comment section because I read every last one of them, whether I respond or not. But all right. But until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.